The Ballon d'Or award ceremony has sparked controversy, particularly in Brazil, following Manchester City midfielder Rodri's victory over Real Madrid forward Vinicius Jr. While Rodri's win was celebrated by his club, the decision has been met with accusations of racial bias influencing the voting process. Brazilian media outlets and commentators have expressed outrage over Vinicius' second-place finish, alleging that his outspoken stance against racism in football played a role in his loss. Guga Chakra, a commentator for Globo News, a prominent Brazilian television network, questioned whether prejudice against Vinicius affected the outcome. He emphasized Vinicius' active role in combating racism, suggesting it may have negatively impacted his chances of winning. This sentiment was echoed by other prominent Brazilian sports journalists. Gustavo Falden, sports editor for the newspaper Estado, declared the treatment of Vinicius the biggest injustice in the history of Ballon d while Rodrigo Bueno of ESP in Brazil expressed his belief that Vinicius' nationality, club, and playing position should have worked in his favor. Douglas Seconello, a journalist for Globesport, went further, suggesting that Vinicius' outspokenness on racial issues was being penalized by denying him the award. Real Madrid's response to the results further fueled the controversy. The club boycotted the ceremony, a move that drew criticism from various quarters. Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola, while acknowledging Real Madrid's right to boycott, emphasized the importance of accepting the results of a democratic voting process. Guardiola highlighted the global nature of the voting panel, consisting of 100 journalists from around the world, emphasizing the diversity of opinions in football, he also pointed out that Manchester City had attended the previous year's ceremony despite feeling Erling Haaland deserved the award, which ultimately went to Lionel Messi. He argued that being among the top contenders is an achievement in itself and should be a source of satisfaction. Former Real Madrid president Ramon Calderón criticized the club's boycott, arguing that it could damage their reputation. He stated that in the absence of evidence of wrongdoing in the voting process, Real Madrid should have attended the ceremony, upholding their image as one of the world's leading football clubs. Calderon's comments reflect a concern for the club's image and the potential negative impact of their absence. France Football, the organizers of the Ballon d'Or, addressed the controversy through their chief editor, Vincent Garcia. While expressing surprise at Real Madrid's reaction, he steered the focus back to the winner Rodri and his achievements. The voting process, involving 100 journalists from the top 100 FIFA-ranked countries, has come under scrutiny, particularly regarding the criteria used by journalists and potential biases influencing their choices. The debate surrounding Vinicius's loss underscores the complex interplay of athletic performance, social activism, and perceived biases within the football world. The incident raises important questions about the potential for bias in such awards and the impact of a player's activism on their recognition within the sport. The controversy highlights the ongoing struggle against racism in football and the need for greater transparency and accountability in award processes. The Ballon d'Or controversy highlights the complexity surrounding individual awards in team sports. While statistical performance plays a crucial role, subjective factors like popularity and narrative inevitably influence voting. The debate surrounding Vinicius's loss, while raising valid concerns about potential biases, also underscores the challenge of objectively measuring individual contributions in football.